mighty, all-powerful, Ishtar of Nineveh, sublime mother goddess, we enter your heavenly house with prayers and offerings. We give you thanks and praise, O glorious and terrible Ishtar, for the greatness of your majesty that you have poured out upon your city of Nineveh. see around me is people disobeying God and going their own way. No respect for God and no respect for people who believe him. I must be one of the few people left in the <laughs> left in the world who not only still believes in God but obeys him. Call him Jonah the Moon. <laughs> to tell you who I am. Do I? Oh. Well, what do you want with me, O oh Lord God? I have chosen you to be my prophet. Well, you put a heavy responsibility on me. What message am I to take to my people? The message is not for your people. It is for the people of Nineveh. Nineveh? But Nineveh's miles away! No! I'm sorry! You will go to the great city and speak out against the evil that you will find there. No! I mean, what for? Everybody knows Nineveh's a wicked city. Why should I have to go to a terrible place like that? I want you to tell them that the Lord God knows about their wickedness. No! I mean, what good's it going to do? They're not going to listen to me, a foreigner. No! They will listen when you warn them that the Lord God is going to punish them for their sins. No! No! Anyway, you're not their God. At least that's what they think. No! They've got gods of their own, and plenty of them. Nasty heathen gods with claws and wings and horns. Ooh, I'd rather go to sea. No! Why should it matter to you what happens to Nineveh? It certainly doesn't matter to me. Jonah. It probably doesn't even matter to them. No! 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 Nineveh, this way! Oh, thank you! It's that way, is it? Well, I'm gonna go this way! Oh. Hey, gangway, please! No, don't push! Right. Now, what's the furthest place? I can travel to from here. Well, Spain, I suppose. This ship's going to Tarshish. Well, I'm coming with you. Shoo! Cargo 
Chicago Slaughter. Gang Panker! Ready below! A Panker! Raise the sail! Cast off! Lift him out! It's blowing up again! Put him back in the water! Haul him out! What's he to do? Do as he said! Let him go! Stop him! Now! May the God of this man forgive us! Praise and thanks to the Lord God of heaven! To the God who made the sea and dry land! To the God who has saved us from shipwreck and death! Up with it, lads! Pull hard! Heave! All right, lads! Up with it! Come on! Time grows on!
In my distress, I called to the Lord. And he heard your voice. When waves closed over me and my life seemed to be at an end, I cried out. And he answered you. As I sank into the ocean depths, I remembered the Lord. And he saved your life. to Nineveh and preach the message I shall give you. God he follows. <laughs> We've got our own God, the greatest of them all, mighty Ishtar. The Lord my God has told me to tell you that he has seen your sins, and in 40 days he will destroy all Nineveh. <laughs> <laughs> destroy great Nineveh? He'll have a job. There's no enemy strong enough to destroy our city. Anyway, what's so sinful about our lives? You know, and the Lord God knows. How does he know that? <laughs> Perhaps we should listen to him. I won't tell you again. Let me go. <sighs> Who is this man? Who? Who is this man? The Lord God has seen the sins on the streets of Nineveh. 
And he's seen the corruption in your temple and in the very palace of your great king. Why does he threaten my people with punishments from a god whom we know nothing about? Because the Lord God knows about each and every one of you and the wicked lives you lead. What does your god know? Everything! What is to happen to us? Because of Nineveh's sinfulness, the Lord God is going to destroy this entire city in 40 days! In Nineveh, when someone dies, those who are mourning put on sackcloth and smear their faces with ashes. If in 40 days we will all be dead, then it will be too late to mourn. Take down these words. By the decree of the king and his nobles, no person or animal Herd or flock may eat anything. Everyone, man and beast, must be covered with sackcloth, and the people must call on the Lord God who made heaven and earth with all their might, asking for forgiveness. Forty days more, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. Then they will receive judgment from the hand of Almighty God. Only forty days more, and they will discover that God punishes those who disobey him. Nineveh may once have been great, but soon it will be as if it had never existed. Ah. If we all give up our evil ways, 30 days, and our violent behavior, 20 days, maybe the Lord God will turn his fierce anger away from us, so that we shall not perish. 10. Tomorrow, today is Judgment Day, and you will all know the Lord God's terrible anger. Lord God, forgive us. Bring down your judgment! Now! God in heaven, do not destroy us. Pity us and save us. Lord God, forgive us! Have mercy on us. God in heaven, do not destroy us. Pity us and save us. We have been saved! God be praised! We are alive! God has heard our prayers! We have been saved! God be praised! I should have known this would happen! This is the 40th day! The day on which I prophesied the Lord God's judgment would come on Nineveh! And what happens? Nothing! Nothing! You wondered why I didn't obey you when you first told me to go to Nineveh. Well, this is why! I knew that you were a tender, compassionate and merciful God. Slow to be angry and full of love. The kind of God who would change his mind and forgive the people of Nineveh, even Nineveh. So, why don't you take my life? I was your prophet, and I've been made to look a fool. It would be better for me if I were dead. Are you right to be this angry? Yes. Yes, I am. I shall sit here and wait until either judgment falls on Nineveh or until I die of shame.
You give me a plant to shade me from the heat, and then you destroy it! Why? I might as well be dead! Let me die! Now! Just as you let that poor plant die! Are you really right to be so angry about the plant? Yes! I have every right to be angry! Angry enough to die! You feel sorry for a mere plant that you did not grow. A plant that grew up and withered away in just one day. A plant which cost you nothing. So? So, Jonah. Shouldn't I feel sorry for a whole city of people? More than a hundred and twenty thousand of my creations who do not know right from wrong. Jonah. Hmm? <laughs> 